Hello. We've been at a neighbourhood policing conference this morning where we have looked at the key elements of neighbourhood policing and what it's going to look like across Thames Valley in the future. The four key pillars of neighbourhood policing are visibility, engagement, problem solving and community resilience. And we've heard some about activities that are going acro across Thames Valley to support each of these, but also ideas for the future. Some really good examples are around how we use technology and particularly engage with communities through social media, something we we're doing already, but something that we could do much more on. In terms of supporting those vulnerable people in our communities, we had National Hate Crime Awareness Week last week, and Thames Valley played a key part in that. We looked at ways that members of our communities can report and also making sure that people are aware about what hate crime actually was. I'm really pleased to say that already, as a result of that campaign, we've had some reports that have come in and we've been able to support the victims but also deal with the perpetrators. It's absolutely true that the numbers of reports are probably lower than they should be, so it's important that we continue to support this campaign and raise the profile of hate crime. Funding has also been in the public eye at the moment as well, both in terms of what our funding is going to look like in the future, but also Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabulary released a report around how efficient the police are. I'm really pleased to say that Thames Valley Police were graded as good overall, but outstanding in their approach to the sustainability of funding into the next four years. There are going to be challenges ahead, and particularly because we don't yet know what our funding is going to be, and we won't know until the end of December. So we continue to plan around what, uh, how we're going to structure ourselves, um, and it will become clearer in the next few weeks as to what the impact will be over the next few years. But we work on the basis of a very good, um, solid base, and we've got a good reputation of being able to deal with uh, the cuts in previous years. Finally, I just want to talk about a campaign that is coming up next week, which is Consent is Everything. You will probably know that the numbers of sexual offences have, have risen dramatically in recent years. A lot of this is around non-recent cases where people are having the confidence to come forward knowing that we and our key partners will support them but also deal with the offenders. But there is also an issue around consent and whether people truly have consent when, before they take part in sexual activities. And it's really important that people think about that and understand how and what, how they gain consent and also what consent actually means. So the campaign will provide a lot of information to individuals, but also put people in contact with other agencies. Uh, if you want to know more, then follow the hashtag consent is everything. Thank you.